Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, Jay Guruji, thank you. I'm a little nervous because she just sprung it in the last minute, but I'll, I'll do my best. Uh, can you hear me in the back? Yeah? Yes. Okay. Um, I grew up in a Polish <coughs> Ukrainian household, first generation immigrants, so um, very religious. I mean, if any of you know, have any Polish friends or Ukrainians, they are very religious people. They are, but it's religion. It's not spiritual so much, and I needed something more spiritual. So the last decade or so, um, you know, I tried other stuff, and I think, like what she just said, I think how you just said that, because that just kind of opened my mind, that, you know, it's a spiritual path. You know, sometimes there's an expiration date on one path, and you have to go to the next path. And I, w I went to see an ama, and then she left to India, and then I was like, okay, where is he? So I started calling ashrams, and I started calling, and then, of course, I called Seema. And Seema just said, come to this place. And I'm like, okay. And she just says, just come, and, you know, things will get better. And I figured, okay, I'll come. And she says, it's Indian food. I figured, okay, I'll definitely come because I love Indian food. <laughs> so <laughs> that was, that was, it. That was uh, the, the thing. And when I came here, and I'll talk about my experience here because I think it's important to talk about the experience here, what I feel like as a non-Hindu coming here. But I'll, I'll tell it down the road. Um, I guess we'll connect. I guess at that time I was like between jobs and Seema just says, just, and I like what she did tell me. And that was, because I, I worked with another spiritual partner before this, my other spiritual pet. And every time I would email her, complain about her, she would say, go to Guruji. And, I'm, and I used to get like, who, you know. She says, and I would email her again. She says, go to Guruji. That was the perfect answer because he knows the answer. You know, he knows everything. He knows it. She doesn't know my whole situation. And I may not tell her my whole situation either because parts of it I may leave out because maybe I'm embarrassed or whatever the, whatever the thing may be. But she would always say, go to Guruji. So, and I started, I figured, okay, you know, I, I just I had to go on faith to go to him. So it's still a connection. We're still, you know, I'm still getting to know the guru. Um, you know, I still, go, I still keep my Christian faith. So I, I go to church in the morning. This morning I was sick a little, I have a cold, but I usually go to my church in the morning I come here, because this is, this is not separate. It's just, it adds on to my faith, as I want to say. Um, and I like what Seema gave us. Seema gave my brother and I a cup. We fill up with water, and she also gave a CD. So I do. I play the music, the CD, all day, with the water on it. I drink the water and I shower. And I tell you, if I really put my focus on it. If I really put my focus on it, my day goes. People are nicer to me. Things go smoother. And there's some days I kind of rush and I go in the shower. Okay, boom, boom, boom. But the, when I really focus on it, and pray on it, and just kind of keep it focused on the guru, and just kind of you know do my morning meditation and prayer the day goes a whole lot smoother, and people are a whole lot nicer to me. Um, I, I just want to say, and you know, Seema says, don't test Guruji. Well, I did test him. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I said, you know, if you're real, just give me one rose. Just give me a rose to show that you're real. I just wanted, I needed something to show that you're real. And I came here one day, and this one girl, uh, I don't know if she's here in the I don't see, but she says, here's a rose, give it to Guruji. Yeah, and so I came here, I got the, and it, it didn't dawn me, I'm thinking, oh, wait a minute, I, just, I, I asked him for a rose, and he gave me a rose. So that was, you know, and then, you know, but then it, I had, to, I knew I had to go on faith also. Um, as far as my, I remember I, the first thing I did call him, I was crying about a job, this and that. I did get a lot of job offers. I got three job offers, but there was one, and Seema says to me, don't pick on any job. This one, there was one job that I came to me about a month ago. I didn't even tell her. It was like an educational assistant aide for the state. So I'm in the process of hopefully, you know, it's up, it's up to him though. If God wants me there, Guruji wants me there, I'll be there. But it's a job that I'm thinking like, and she did say that to me. She says, you know, don't even put any, don't put any conditions on it. Just be open to it. And I was, and so we'll see what happens with that. But I did get job offers, so I don't feel like so, you know. Um, and I always like the fact that she says um, there's only one religion, because it's not, I hate, you know, because it's meditation. We all have our different paths, you know. Um, I'm getting to know Guruji, so it's not like I'm sitting here saying, I, you know, it was a connection. And I want to talk about my experience. And when I first came here, I used to sit in a corner over there hoping nobody would notice me. Of course, you changed that today. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> 
And I just kind of want to say, but I like the fact, I, I think this is important. I always enjoy the fact when that guy comes with the little tea, the hot tea, and it's so good tea. And I appreciate the kids in the back doing those napkins. I think that's so, and the water. And whoever cooks the food is the best food. And this all time, I mean, whoever puts this all together, I mean, thank you. I don't know who does it, but thank you. It's, and just coming, you know, no matter how your day goes, you walk through that door, you come here, it just, and I don't know if anybody knows this, but roses have the highest vibrations on earth because even my Catholic faith, you ever see Blessed Mary, she has all those roses around her. But um, that has the highest vibration on earth. So when you go through here, it just kind of, things just melt away. You know, for that hour and a half, you just kind of get that peace, you get that connection, you kind of get that um, feeling that it's okay. And then, you know, this is your, this is my therapist, you know. I'm not going to go to a therapist. This is my therapist. I talk, I sit in the back and I just talk to him about certain things and he answers me. Um, and it's, it's, you know, it's it's still a journey, you know, it's still a journey. He's, and I, I, like when, I like to hear talks here. I remember one time someone said, sometimes just being stable, sometimes not having, not having any drama. That's a blessing in itself, you know, because I do not like drama. And when drama comes, I don't, you know, and it's just a blessing in itself. So I, like I said, um, I think this is a great thing. Whatever faith you are, this just adds to it, you know. No one told me to, you know, leave my faith. No one told me to do that. You know, it's just, just kind of add to it. And what else did I want to say? Um, oh, yeah. Hmm? Yeah, I will get to it. <laughs> and I like the fact that um, the custom-made path. I like what she always just say. She goes, this is a custom-made path. So, and that was, and I'm thinking to myself, well, that's why she always told me, go to him, go to him. Because even in my own Christian faith, they always say the answers are within, you know, because mm -hmm. the answers are always within you, because you know the whole thing, you know, you know the whole scenario, you know, and I always, and I had this discussion with my family, it's like sometimes when I, you know, do things, and I listen to other people, it doesn't go right, so that's why I thank you for not, you know, telling me what to do, and just saying, go to him, go to him, and, um, yeah, as, as far as my brother, um, he had an illness, and, you know, he, he always calls him the cool dude, he goes, let's, if we go to church, I'm like, let's go see the cool dude in the afternoon, because I'm so <laughs> the cool dude. <laughs> um, no, he's just, I have, like I said, I have his picture there, and the water and the music playing all day, so, if I lose something, he finds it right away. I tell you, it saves a lot of arguments. Um, no, but as far as my brother, um, I don't want to get too much of his illness, but like I said, um, going to the doctor, the doctor was even like, I personally tell them, don't tell doctors, because sometimes they kind of like to discourage you. There's so much into the medical field, but you know, it's just like, sometimes they don't understand the test. And I was like, that's okay. They don't have to understand it. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, God, God, you know, things can be done for you without, you know, like the medicals, I think, I don't want to bash the medical profession, but it's good to know that there's a higher being helping you along the way. You're not alone in this path. And uh, oh, I'm glad to see that she's there from Long Island, so I, <laughs> she, she calmed me down when I saw her too. But anyway, it's, been a, it's gonna be a journey. I'm just getting to know Guruji, so I'm getting to know um, this whole path. And, but there's nothing really to know. You know, just sit there, quiet yourself down. And to me, it's like tranquility. Like I said, I thought it was like the highest, it's very high vibration here. It's like going through the doors of heaven, sitting down for that hour and a half, having a nice meal, and just being in peace with yourself. And, and you know, and you have to keep the journey. You have to keep it up. It's not coming here one time and just forgetting about it. You have to keep the momentum going. And um, I thank everyone. Thank you, Sima, for doing this. I thank Aruja. I thank whoever does the alt for the food and everyone. And the people who always say, like, like I guess I'm kind of shy. So like I said, Sima kind of changed all that today. So it took me out of my comfort zone. So thank you, everyone. <laughs>